Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. As always, looking forward to spending some time with you. Now today, I've been asked for um, just a general design that would be great for a celebration card. So when we're thinking celebration, I mean, this could be, you could look at it as good luck or you could be celebrating a wedding. It could be uh, passing a driving test. It could be getting a new job. There are lots of things where we do send good wishes to people and celebrations and it's finding almost like a generic card that you could alter up. So I've gone for this design. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And again, you can add little bits that actually fit the purpose. So that's my idea and I've got to be honest this idea came from a card that I did and I did this for our Lavinia challenge. Now if you're not aware every month we have a challenge and if you go to the Lavinia website all the information's on there under the category where the challenge is and the winner is chosen at random so that's fabulous and you can win a £40 voucher to spend at Lavinia. And it's every month and we give you a different theme and we put some inspiration on there. And you know what? It's a lovely place just to look a at the inspiration from the design team, but also to see what other fellow crafters have created. You know, if your mojo's gone, it's a great way of looking for ideas. And also it's a lovely community because we can all, you know, tell each other how well we think they've done and, and that we love their ideas. And that's so nice. We all like a bit of praise, don't we? And this one, the theme is animal magic. And I just had this idea in my head. As you know, I love our cheeky mice. And I just thought he's sitting on this cork and it's popping out of one of our sticker stencil bottles. And the other animals are watching on thinking, oh, he's up to his old tricks again. I mean, we all have a friend, don't we, that's going to be the one sitting on that cork. Now, you don't have to tell them and you don't have to tell me. Now, what, Lavinia, who do you think that would be? I think it's Jack myself, but don't tell him. I adore Jack. I actually, we have fights, well, not physical fights, but um, some of the ladies, because we all fight over him because he's just so gorgeous and he gives the most amazing cuddles. But anyway, so I bet you've all got a friend that you think is going to be sitting on that cork while it's popping and flying through the air. So that's where my idea came from and I thought I'd just almost simplify it a bit so it could be used for lots of different, you know, alternatives. So I'm going to come in and this size card I've gone for is this and it's the A6, comes in a pack of 20, 330 at GSM. It's the multifarious card, but again, as I say, depending on what event and how much you want to add you can actually put this on a larger card smaller card if it's a wedding anniversary think of your colors and go for the colors you know whether it's ruby or silver i, I just think so much you can do i'm going to use one of the larger sticker stencils so this is set seven i think it is so this is the one that has two in it and i'm going to pop it at an angle here just Again, you could pop it in the middle if you want the cork going up, but I'd just like to sort of angle it a bit and stick it down. Now, again, remember, these are very tacky when you first get them, so I always detack mine a little bit on my jeans. And it's not long, as you can see, to be honest, before mine get glitter on the back and the odd dog hair. But that's what happens. Now, I'm going to use three colours of Element Sync for this. Now, again, you can have your bottle any colour. I've gone for green, um, you know, depending on what you've got in it. So I'm going for lime punch, pine, and I'm going to come in with a bit of dark denim just to give me that lovely shadow in. Now, you might think that's a funny choice, but when you see, I'm hoping you'll understand why. And also, this is a bit of a... I often get asked about stencil brushes, what size to use when and which to buy. And I've got to be honest, I have to say all three. But and, and I'm sure people think, oh, she's just saying that. But I do use, as you know, when you watch my videos, I do use all three. But today, I've got a smaller area. So I'm going to come in with the middle size one, the number seven. And then when I want more concentration of colour, I'm going to move down to my smaller one, the number three. So again, ink. And this is the lighter colour. We're just going to do a general colour on the bottle to start off with. As you know, I always blend it in the lid. And I'm so glad that so many of you do that now. It makes such a difference. And for me, I think these are the little hints and tips that, do you know what, I'd love to have known when I started off. Almost anything to, I was going to say, make it easier. 
I just think give us better results and again help our confidence because I think if you get a good result your confidence does increase and at the end of the day it makes us happy and that's what we want we craft because we, we enjoy it so I've just put a general colour look over the whole area and that's just the backdrop so now I'm going to come in with my deeper colour so this is where the pine comes in and the smaller stencil brush because again I want more concentration of colour and I'm just going to flick all the way around the edge of the bottle and I'm almost doing little circular motions but I'm only just look if I can show you catching that edge and again if I catch that you'll probably see it better when I do this bottom edge so I'm just coming in really just catching that edge and if I just sort of very gingerly catch the edge, if I want a bit more, and as you notice, I'm always going in the lid. If I want to come in a bit further, look at the corner, I can go back in. So this bottom edge will just be a bit darker. So we can blend that darker colour up a little bit. And then I'm just going to add some in the corner because obviously things tend to look better if we frame them. So it will look better if we add a bit of shade in this corner. So this bottom edge here, along there. And there we go. And you can come in as far as you want. Now, I want to make a little lip on here. So I'm just going to come in for my mini hill masks and I'm going for the one that's got the flatter edge so I just need to turn this round and I'm just going to pop that here now you can see Trace is drawn in the shape where that little lip would go so again I'm just going to catch the edge so I've got my mask here protecting the top bit and I'm just making the shadow so again I'm just catching that edge and the corners if I take that away look <clears throat> sorry can you see we've got that lovely shadowing there now what I'm going to do just to emphasize that I'm going to swap over and bring in my dark denim now normally I wouldn't take this off but it's not a problem look because I can just pop it back exactly where I had it and then now this, I just want a very little, so definitely make sure I do employ you don't go straight from your ink pad. Otherwise, if you get too much, and it might be worth just adding a bit on here, look. So I'm just going to very gingerly just come in off the edge of there. And when I take that away, look... Can you see how that's really added to that shadow? So without adding any more ink on my brush look, I'm just going to come round this base, just gingerly adding a little bit, and then in the corner here to add a bit more depth at the, at the base. And then just a tiny bit up here, don't want a lot. We're just adding that extra depth, that extra 3D. And as you know, it's something I love to do. Now, if you're worried about some of the edges being a bit sharp, you know, you can come back in. I'm just going to put the lid on that because I don't want to put my hand in it. You can come back in with the little brush and almost blend. Because remember, the ink's there and it will blend. So if you're just worried about any harsh edges, just blend them off. There we go, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to give this a wipe because I don't want to put it away dirty. And then we can take the sticker stencil off now and look at that. I think that's a lovely shape to that bottle. So I'm just going to pop this on my mat, give it a wipe, just a damp cloth. And then with my Inky Binky, which is just a cotton cloth, it can be any cloth. I know some crafters use old tea towels, I just find a, a cotton napkin is great. And I only call him Inky Binky because I like to give things names. 
It's just the way my head works. But again, you know that, don't you? Not, not always a good place in my head. It really has some funny ideas, but there we go. So from our corks that go with our sticker stencils, now again, these corks are fabulous. Don't just think of them as corks. Um, they make beautiful, almost little seats for our creatures to sit on. And I'm going to use the pine cone. Obviously, with it being a cork, I didn't want to use black. I thought brown would look better. And we're just going to stamp this sort of about, I'm thinking, there. And again, they've got two different shapes of the cork. I've gone for this one. And I'm just going to give that a little bit of a blot. Oh, she says, as everything falls over. And to add some colour, I'm going to come in with my watercolour pencils. And I'm going to, I've got two browns. But to bring in, because I've got the green of the bottle here, I'm actually going to bring in just a hint of green on the cork. I don't know if you noticed on the finished piece look. Just because I think it almost makes it look, you know I mentioned that sort of cohesive design, just makes it look better. So to start off with, I'll just get my kitchen towel to lean on. And I'm just generally going to add a little bit of green there. And it's all that's going to be my highlight. Often I use yellow or orange, but I thought with having the green bottle, we could bring the green in. And then just with my darker brown, I'm just going to go to the base here and the sides where I know it will be darker. And again, we'll have some shading under there, won't we? And I'm not overthinking it. And then with my mid colour, which is my mid brown, I'm going to add some brown at the top here. Now, it might be you want to watercolour paint this. You might be you want to use your pens. Whichever colour medium you, you want to, you just add your colour. My watercolour pencils were here, so <clears throat> they're the one of choice. Often it is funny. I do go for what's nearest. I don't know about you. You know what it's like when you want something specific. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me, this naughty throat. Um. <clears throat> Do you spend ages looking for something specific and then if you can't find it, you end up using what's on your desk? Right, just have a little sip of water, see if that'll help. <clears throat> so I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella pen now. <clears throat> now you can use your, your water brush. I just, with this being a celebration card, just want to add a little bit of sparkle. So I'm using my Wink of Stella to activate the pencil. So it's adding the water, as you would with a watercolour brush. But also for me, it will add that lovely sparkle, which, as you know, when it dries. And I'm just going to add a little bit on here. Now you can colour the whole bottle if you want. But what I do want to add is <clears throat> the word. Now, I've gone for wish. We have got lots of you could have put best wishes with love. But on the set called balance, we've got to create, inspire memories. Now, that's a good one. It could be a retirement, so you could add memories. But I just thought for me, wish went with that thought of, you know, we always do cheers and have a wish. Whoever has the last drop, the last drop. <laughs> Sounds bad, doesn't it? Out of the bottle. So I'm just going to add the word wish there. And again, I've done that in the brown, so it matches. And then I'm going to add some stars. Now, I've got two different sets here. This one, I think, is stars two, and they're both the mini ones. And I'm going to come in. With, I've got two colours of my Versafine Claire. I've got the Verdant and the Golden Meadow. So to almost keep on with those green tones, I'm going to add just one stamping of this group of stars. And I'm going to pop it in the middle here. And then this is a, a almost smaller stars, a lovely group. And this one, I'm going to come in with the golden meadow. And it, because it's sort of that goldeny yellowy, but it's almost a greeny yellow. And I'm just going to do first, second, third generation look. 
And I think it ties in the sort of gold of celebration, but also we've got those greeny tones, if that makes sense. And I've just caught the corner there. So we'll just have a couple more. Yeah, I think we'll stop there. And then that's just got that lovely celebration. Now, on my bottle, on my original one here, I've gone for stickers off the beautiful Enchanted Words. And this one, Summer Sparkles. So I thought that was good because I do like some bubbles really summer bubbles now i've used quite a few of these now there's a love potion if that was celebrating somebody's engagement love potion would be perfect wouldn't it time flies that would be great maybe for retirement ah truth serum now what sort of <laughs> celebration are you going to put that on now you see this is the thing i'm going to have at mine this little potion of mine that we're celebrating with i'm going to call unicorn dreams because this can be dreams for anything. So I'm just going to add that there. And then just for my finishing touch, I'm going to add some glitter. And I'm going to come in with the holographic, the star brights. And I'm going to use the two-way glue pen. And again, two-way because it's blue and it turns clear when dry. When it's blue, and it does tell you on the packet, on the con packet on the side of it here so it's a wet bond it's permanent when you use it immediately if you leave it for a while it becomes a temporary bond but it does tell you that on the side so if you like me you need to get your good eyes in put your glasses on and read it so i'm going to add a couple of dots of this on the middle stars but then i'm actually going to add them around my stars because i still want to see my beautiful stamping so we'll add some lovely sparkle down there and then we'll add some up here. And as I say, we want a permanent bond on our glitter. So straight away, I'm going to come in with my glitter and I'm going to just put the whole pot on it. Always makes me laugh when it goes in because I'm sure there's more. I'm sure it's magic. And again, we'll tap it off. Just get rid of any excess. Now you may get some that slightly um, sticks to if the ink's wet, but that'll only be temporary. Once the ink's dry, it'll fall off. So that's why I tend to make sure I give it a good tap. And then I just have a look. Oh, now there's a bit at the bottom I missed with my glitter. I can see the glue. There we go. Nearly missed that. But that's good if you just tip it in the light. I could see the glue. Right, we've got non-stuck there, non... Yeah, that's lovely. And again, always put this back in. And this is the bit, obviously, where you don't sneeze, you don't cough. Note to self, don't cough. And just tap it all back in. And I find if I tap the pot, it almost makes it flatter. It seems to settle in the pot better. Otherwise, it does look as though you've got so much more to go in. Lid on. We don't want to knock that over, do we? So there we are. A lovely celebrations design. And like I say, this, you could use it for ruby wedding, wedding anniversary, congratulations. I mean, so many things. And I just think that, and you know what? For charity cards, but also how often do we need, you know, a quick engagement card? And I think that would really fit the bill. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that. And I bet you've got lots of other ideas, places that you can take this that I haven't thought of. So I'd love you to let me know. So thanks for all your lovely comments as well. Honestly, I do love reading them. Even if I don't reply straight away, I promise I will get to you. So you enjoy the rest of your week. Oh, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.